Welcome to the Garden Girl. We're here this morning at Dover East Elementary. Uh, it's during Earth Week. Today is actually Earth Day. And what we're gonna do is interview Melissa Kinnair, who is one of the kindergarten teachers. And she's gonna go over what they do at Dover East during Earth Week, the importance and the different activities. We're gonna get into doing a little activity with the kids, giving them something to take home teaching them about plants and how they're similar to people and do the same things. So this is our fourth year running on this. Um, I kind of coined it the Let Them Grow series. Um, so we do these workshops. I like to do these workshops all the time. So um, anyhow, stay tuned. We'll be right back with our interview with Mrs. Kinnair. A nursing home or your own home, it's good to be home. So call Ember Complete Care for all of your home health needs. When you're recovering from illness or injury, our compassionate staff promotes healing in the most comfortable environment of all, your own home. For skilled nursing, physical therapy, wound care, and more, Ember Complete Care serves all of Tuscarawas, Coshocton, and Harrison counties. Call 800-462-0909. Ember Complete Care, it's good to be home. In 2008, we were notified that our funding would be, um, our corporate funding would be reduced. So we were very much struggling in 2009. The Tuscross County Community Foundation came in like a white knight on a horse and saved the Arts Center. Now that we're, looks like we're going to be here forever, people are coming in and more willing to support the organization and uh, help us achieve our mission. Hi, this is Tom at the Glass Lumber Builder Supply Company. At the Glass Lumber Company, you'll find premium grade lumber cut to order. You'll find windows, doors, tools, and much more. But what really counts is you'll find a family business built on quality products, personal service, and a very knowledgeable staff. The Glass Lumber Builder Supply Company, we're at the Boulevard in New Philadelphia. We are proudly serving the Tuscarawas County since 1951. Hi, I'm 1450 WJER's Bill Morgan inviting you to join me on television Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 for TV2 Sports Talk. Sports Talk is your weekly look inside high school football, volleyball, soccer, and more. Look for guest appearances from your favorite area coaches and players. TV2 Sports Talk. Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 on DMG Channel 2 on Time Warner Cable. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Allure Hair Studio, located at 210 East 3rd Street in Yerkesville. Hi, we're back at Dover East Elementary on Earth Day, and I have Mrs. Kinnair with me. She's a kindergarten teacher here at Dover East, and I'm going to ask her a few questions because I don't even know all the events that they do um, during the week. I know what I do here um, on Earth Day, actually, but I'm going to find out from her what all, what all these kids get to do and how they get to learn about Earth Week. So besides the shoe gardening, when I come over and do that, what, what all do you guys do all week long? We really focus on the three R's, recycle, reduce, reuse, and we do many projects with that, and each class does their own activities. We do recycled art in kindergarten, and we have um, Lily the Skunk comes and talks to some of our classes, which is a lot of fun. And we recycle all year long with our paper and our bottles and our bottle caps. Um, we do many fun things like that, and we talk about the importance of plants and, and the environment and how we can contribute and be good to the environment back. Yeah. Now, I know the kids always look forward to the shoe gardening because obviously they get to dig their hands in dirt and be a kid, and that's a fun part too. Now, what other things are getting planted in that classroom? I see cups of 
dirt and all kinds of stuff. Oh yes, we planted grass, we plant wildflowers. We have um, our bean seed experiment where we just put a bean on a paper towel, a wet paper towel, and put it inside a Ziploc bag. And um, they, they, it starts to grow, but they realize it doesn't grow very far because it doesn't have dirt. Mm -hmm. It has the water and it has the sun, but without the dirt, it doesn't survive. So that's a fun experiment for them to experience. Oh, definitely. And, and isn't it fun, funny kind of that, you know, you've got kindergartners that probably go home after this week knowing possibly more than some of the parents know about flowers and germination and, and everything else. So here we have kindergarten kids that are really getting a jump start on the importance of the recycling, reusing. Uh, now, how many years has Dover been doing this? Um, we've been recycling, I know, paper for eight to nine years, I do believe, and bottles, and there's a special cap um, project that our fifth graders do. Um, they send the caps to a company, and it's for charity, and um, it, it's a great, great organization. So they've been doing that for a few years as well. I like this. I like this. Well, stay tuned, you guys. We are going to enter the classroom with all these wonderful kids. And again, we're going to teach them a little bit how plants are similar and how to plant something up on their own so they can go home. And if mom and dad don't know, they will after tonight. We live in a fast-paced world. Say goodbye to searching books and search engines for all the answers. Now there's iTowns. From finding a place to dine or locating your family doctor, you can also check out the high school game of the week from TV2 Sports. Get your answer with just one click. iTowns has it all. We're always looking for better ways to do things. But with some banks, better for them isn't always better for you. You've reached Mega Bank. Press 1 to hear your current balance. Press 2 to hear these options again. Introducing free Kasasa checking. When you do stuff for us, like swipe your debit card or get e-statements, we make it even better for you with cash back and refunds on ATM fees. Kasasa, carried locally at First Federal Community Bank. Do you, Kasasa? As the area's leader in direct-to-garment printing, you won't be surprised by Denison T-Shirt Graphics' huge range of services, screen printing, banners, engraving, graphic design, and embroidery. They offer just about anything you can imagine, like shirts, mugs, hats, plaques, trophies, and more. They're located right here in New Philadelphia on the south side and on the web at denisontshirt.com. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Allure Hair Studio, located at 210 East 3rd Street in Yerkesville. So what we're going to try to do today is teach you a few things about how plants and people are real similar, okay, and, and how they live and breathe and eat just like we do, okay, or very similar. So what we're going to do to start with, how many people think plants breathe? Good, and you're right, they do, they breathe. And they breathe in, they take all of our, our carbon dioxide. When I'm talking and you're talking, we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. Well, these plants love that stuff. That's why you hear some old people, they say, oh, they talk to their plants. Well, they get the carbon dioxide. So it's a very good relationship for us to have trees and plants everywhere because they take in our bad stuff and they put out oxygen for us, which is a good thing. Now, how many of you guys think that plants have to eat? Right. But how do they eat? They don't have mouth like we do. They can't eat peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> they eat dirt to be hydrated. 
they eat dirt to be hydrated. That is really close. That's 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 right in the same ball game there. You're you're right on the money. Yes, they do. Every plant needs rain. Do you think some need rain more than others? No. They do. Some plants like a lot of water. Just like maybe how you don't drink as much water as she does. It's the same thing. Everybody, all plants are different. Every flower is different. Just like how each and every one of you are different. Every flower and plant and shrub is different. Some grow out in the desert. You ever seen a cactus? Yeah. Or see Right. They don't, they don't drink hardly any water. When it does rain, they have a big storage system and they store it and they hold on to it for a really, really long time. But that wouldn't work for this guy. This guy here couldn't do that. So how do you think when we water them, if I take this guy out, do you think that he eats from here or here? Down here? Mm -hmm. How many of you guys raise your hand if you think he eats from down here? Wow, we have a really smart class. How many of you think he eats from up here? Okay, now here's the fun thing. They can do both. They can do both. The roots are the most important thing on a plant. This one here has a lot of them. When you water a plant, have you ever seen your parents water plants at home? Right, you know when they pour the water on, sometimes if the plant's kind of weepy and sad, it perks back up, right? So it takes all that water in through the roots and goes right up through the top, making the leaves stand back up. Now, plants do eat from their leaves. They need sun, and the sun is what helps make that food for them. Yes, honey? Yes, the water is very important. The water helps them uptake all those nutrients that they need to stay green, stay alive, and keep growing. How many of you guys drink milk to grow? Right. Do you know that calcium, we don't feed them milk, but calcium is really important to plants too. Calcium is one of the nutrients that they uptake in order to grow as well. So it's very important. They are similar to us. You'd be surprised. They take iron. We have iron in our Flintstones and everything else. So do these guys. They all need different amounts, just like you guys. How you guys are different, they're different too. But if they're really stressed out and they're really sad, they can actually eat through their leaves. Do you know how when you, when you rub lotion on your skin, how it, it sinks in and all of a sudden it's all gone? It like absorbs in? Plants can do the same thing. You can spray them with fertilizer, like a diluted fertilizer, and they'll, they'll actually take it in through here. Now, they have to have them open. Their leaves, the pores, like on our skin, have to be open for them to take that in, but they can. So those are the couple ways that plants can eat. And water is important. They, the old saying goes, plants are, are colored water. That was one of my teachers taught me that. They said you need to think of flowers as colored water because plants are about 90% water. So just like she said and just like he said, water is very, very important. Now today, one thing that we're going to do, and we're going to get you guys ready for this, we're going to get soil on the table. And we're going to teach you guys how to plant your own flowers so that you can take them home and take care of them. So, Raise your hands. How many of you guys know now that we have to keep, give them water? Good. And we know that they have to eat, right? All right. Okay. So to make this plant even bigger, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to put more soil. We're going to give it more soil than this so that when we spread these roots out, they're going to go and they're going to have more soil to grow in. It's like taking you guys from a little room and putting you in a big room. You can't run around in a little room, can you? But in a big room you can, right? Absolutely. So that's what we're going to do with these guys. We're going to give them more space in your shoes so that they can grow even bigger and get more flowers on them. My mom has the same flower. 
Does she? Well, that's good. These are good spring flowers. That's the other thing, guys. It's okay if you forget to water a little bit. Plants will wilt, but you can only let them wilt it for so long. Once the roots dry up and they can't suck up any of that water, they die. They die just like us. If you, if you keep water away from us for a few days, we're really thirsty, right? And we get kind of sluggish and tired and oh, dehydrated. But if we go too long, we can't live. So plants are just like us. They're the same way when it comes to that. It's just cactuses and a few plants. They do pretty good at storing them and using humidity out of the air. What's that line? This line? No, I mean, that's my microphone. Unfortunately, we have to have that. Because apparently I'm not loud enough, but if you ask my friends, I'm plenty loud enough. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to get soil on the table, okay? So we'll take a minute here and we'll get some soil on the table. And then we're going to come around and we're going to teach you guys how to plant these up so that you can take them home, okay? Notice when I took this guy out, see how he's got so many roots? Well, the person that started these from seed, they've been in there a while, so they need room to grow. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna spread that bottom out a little bit, okay? And that's gonna make the roots go this way, that way, and that way. And that's what we want. If we leave them all together, if you see here, and we leave them all together, they're just gonna keep going like this and this and this, and they don't get to spread out as much. So it's really important just to take the bottom and just pull it apart. And it's okay, you're not gonna kill it. You're not gonna kill it. And the other thing, how many of you guys, raise hands here, how many of you guys have had your parents say, don't touch that flower, don't touch that plant? Mm-hmm, look, you're not gonna hurt anything. It's actually good for them. It's not bad for them. I mean, you don't wanna squish them, but you can touch them. It's good for them. They have to get used to the wind outside, thunderstorms. When we plant plants outside, they have to get used to all that. So you're not going to hurt them by brushing them. Now, here's what I'm going to show you. See how, see how that one's nice and pretty and open? See how you can see the little purple and the yellow in there? But you can on that one, can you? Because he's, he's already, that flower has already had its fun. That flower is all done. So do you know what we're going to do? No, Pick it right off. Boom. That's not going to hurt the plant at all. That plant is going to say, well, that one's done. It's going to send up another flower that's going to open real pretty so that you can see the yellow. And that's like that with a lot of flowers. It's good to take the ones off that are all done and getting yucky looking. That's a good thing. So when you go home tonight with your parents, if they have flowers, and you see a yucky looking flower on there, you can say, Mom, Dad, I think that one needs to be picked off. So now you know. And you know it's okay to touch them. You, you have to when you plant them anyhow. So now we're gonna pass out some plants. You're, you're getting lucky, I already spread out the roots for you two.
Hi, I'm 1450 WJER's Bill Morgan inviting you to join me on television Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 for TV2 Sports Talk. Sports Talk is your weekly look inside high school football, volleyball, soccer, and more. Look for guest appearances from your favorite area coaches and players. TV2 Sports Talk, Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 on DMG Channel 2 on Time Warner Cable. Searching for quality bottled water? Call Crystal Springs Water Company. Crystal Springs Water is a family owned and operated company that's been proudly serving the community since 1986. Crystal Springs offers a quality bottled water in a variety of sizes to suit your everyday needs. They also carry a selection of water coolers, cups, bottle racks, hydro pumps, and premium water softening salts. All available for pickup or delivery. Call Crystal Springs Water Company today. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Allure Hair Studio, located at 210 East 3rd Street in Yerkesville. Hi, and welcome back to the last segment of The Garden Girl. Well, we definitely had a lot of fun. This is probably one of the best things I, I enjoy all year long is teaching these kids. I mean, it's all about the younger generation. So, wrapping up our wonderful shoe garden and our wonderful kindergarten teacher and Dover East for partaking in Earth Week and Earth Day, we have a pretty good question. Um, the question of the week is the organic gardening. Is it a trend? Is that what everybody's moving to? Uh, the answer is it has really gained popularity over the last five years. Um, a lot more people are growing their gardens on their own. And the question was, well, what's the difference between organic and non-organic? The simplest question is synthetic and petroleum-based fertilizers um, and chemicals. That is not organic. Your organic is going to be your compost, your bone meal, sea, uh, seaweed, kelp, fish emulsion. Basically, it's something that's natural. You know, um, insect control would be diatomaceous earth, which I personally use. I love the stuff. Um, I've sworn by it for years, as opposed to spraying seven or using seven dust. Um, you know, again, it's a move that is because we don't know what it's really going to do down the road to ourselves and to the environment, it's becoming more and more popular. Along with, as Mrs. Kinnair said, the reuse, the recycle, you know, we're, we're really starting to think more about our environment now. So, um, you know, there's many, the companies have made leaps and bounds. They really have. Espoma has put out a line for years um, that I feel really really has done well on the market and continues to offer a lot of organic resources for people to use. Um, you know, you've got Bear, you've got Scott's, you've got Bonide. They're all moving to make more organic products for people. So your choices this year should even be greater and better, whether it's homemade or, you know, on the shelf, so to speak. On the shelf, you should have way more choices, whether it's at your garden center or at your, you know, the box stores, you're going to have more choices. Um, you should see a lot more. So I hope that's, that's a roundabout way to answer that question quickly um, if a product is organic look for the OMRI seal 
Um, the OMRI is one of the certifications and symbols that they use basically in simple terms um, that helps register it and certify it organic. So if you're really die hard about that, ask the people, ask the people at the stores, hopefully they're knowledgeable, uh, but make sure you read, you know, read your labels. That's probably the most important thing if you're really, really, really wanting to go organic. So I hope that uh, answers the question for the word of the week, organic.